Okay, what we're going to be doing today is um, uh, making a little bit more use of the ATP picture tracker um, rather than just you taking our pictures. What we're going to do is create a trap log as well and then we're going to upload our geotag photos to uh, Google's uh, online Picasa and then we're going to transfer them, sort of, to Google Earth where, that, where we'll then be able to follow the track log created by the uh, picture tracker um, and then sort of follow that log and then come across our pictures as we're going along this is quite quite interesting that um, um, yeah um, as a sort of catalyst for doing this we're going to go and look for a geocache to give us a reason and I also need to go and buy a Valentine's Day card and a wedding anniversary card for my darling wife so uh, I better get moving as I've only got two days to go and I can't go out tomorrow so let's get started okay we're back from our walk um, it was seven oh, seven, well, seven and a half miles we did um, so the next stage is to take the SD card out of the camera pop it in the picture tracker and then tag the pictures and then we can uh, upload them all to Picasso and uh, upload the GPS log and produce some nice Google Earth uh, images we can uh, slide through. So let's do that next. Okay so I've copied the uh, sorry I've put the SD card into my picture tracker and I've uh, tagged the pictures and I've copied all the pictures onto my hard drive um, and I've fired up Picasa and just using file uh, add uh, folder to Picasso, I've uh, asked Picasso, Picasso to look for and find those photos which it has done. Um, Picasso is a free photo editing and uploading program from Google, just head over, over to google.com and I think it's under extras and you can, you can download it. And the great thing about Picasso is they have web albums as well. And even more important for us, what they do is if your pictures are geotagged it will automatically pin them to a map as well, unlike Flickr where you've got to tell it where it is. And in the um, Picasso album now, you probably can't see it, but on each little thumbnail there's a little cross which indicates there's been a GPS. It's got a GPS lap long position on it, which is really great. And what I've done is just, just to save a bit of time, I've already uploaded this album to, uh, to Picasso, um, so it's sitting there. So what we need to do next is pull the um, uh, GPS log off to make our track. So if we go and then go and look at the internet and we go to gpsvisualizer.com um, which is a great little site that um, turns your logs from I mean in this case the picture tracker but it could be a, a, a GPS sat nav or a hiking device or something like that all you've got to do is browse for it and because I've plugged my uh, picture tracker into the USB port I can find it under removal disk F go into GPS and there's all my logs so if you click on details you can have all the dates so all I do is pick out the date for today which is the, what is it, the 12th of February and then I pick up the last one select that and say open and then down here in the drop down thing choose Google Earth <coughs> excuse me so that will produce a KML file which Google Earth understands and can, can map onto the surface of Google Earth and say go. Just wait a couple of seconds and it'll write the KML file. You can choose like Google Maps and it'll bring up a map with your with your uh, with your track on it. But Google Earth is, is, is it looks really good. It's, it's a really cool way of looking at your photographs and looking at your tracks. Um, <coughs> excuse me. You do have to download Google Earth, but again, it's free and it works really well. Um, yeah, you know, I, I thought it was really impressive when I when I first used it, and the kids love using it. And you can whiz all around the Earth world looking at satellite images and things. So there we go. So it's done it. So all we do is click on the KMZ file. <coughs> Excuse me. Open with Google Earth. Uh, this is Firefox. Might look a bit different in A. Oh, and here we go. The track is this purple line and uh, my picture's already on there so if we zoom out a bit we can see where the track begins and there's all these little thumbnails but the beauty of Google Earth obviously rather than Google Maps is that you can 
put it into sort of pseudo 3D <coughs> zoom in and then what we can do as we're going along we can follow our trail and then click on pictures and it appears somebody else's, that's not one of mine let's pick out one of mine let's follow the trail a bit further now this isn't foolproof, you can see here where there's a break in the track log for some reason but here's some pictures I took today <coughs> and there we go, there's the swan I took Swing it round, you can see where I was. It's a long walk, really long. And again, you can probably <coughs> see, I can zoom right in if I want, you can see where I've been walking. Just click and drag all the way up there. Swing it round. The picture I took. A nice tree. All the way up here. <coughs> Excuse me. Into the countryside. All the way up to where I found the geocache. Which is there. So there we go. So that's using the ATP picture tracker along with Picasa, Picasa Online and Google Earth <coughs> to produce a sort of pseudo 3D map of where you've been taking your pictures. <coughs> Excuse me. And you can go on and you can see this is where I've walked. All around here, up here, three sort of 3D again. And again, there's another example where <coughs> I know I took, I turned the tracker on up here. For some reason, maybe tree cover it didn't pick up the log. So there you go. Zoom out so you can see the whole of the track. Using the ATP Photo Finder GPS picture tracker and the Google Earth and Picasa to create quite a nice effect for. Uh, doing a really unusual photo album. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go and have some cough medicine now.